Welcome. I am so excited to be teaching you all how to do this. You're going to love it. You can take all of your purchase presets and any presets that you have created on your Lightroom desktop version, either Lightroom Classic or Lightroom Mobile, and you can export these presets. And then I'm going to show you how to import them to Lightroom Mobile on your phone, and you'll have the same presets on your phone that you have on your desktop. So I've applied a black and white preset to this photo. And, and the key here is it has to be a raw image, so you can't use a smart preview. So any photo you can bring in, any photo that you take into Lightroom, apply the preset to that photo that you want to transfer to Lightroom Mobile. Once you have done that, make sure the photo is highlighted and you go to, make sure you're in Lightroom and go to File, come down here to Export with Preset and then navigate to export to DNG and click that. It'll bring up this dialog box. I always just export it to my desktop, then click open. Once you have done that, you can go to your desktop and you will notice the DNG file is right here. So for the Lightroom mobile version, you will need a DNG file. Presets are XMP files for the desktop version. Why they don't make them the same, I don't know. <laughs> if somebody knows, let me know. And then I just drag and drop it and text it to myself. If that's something that you cannot do, you can Dropbox it to yourself. However, you would transfer a file from your desktop or laptop to your phone, go ahead and do that. And then let's jump over to my phone and I can show you the second part and import this preset into Lightroom Mobile. Okay, now we're on my phone and you can see the DNG file here that I texted to myself. I'm gonna open it by just clicking it. Then you're gonna see this image pop up down in the bottom left-hand corner. Push that share or send button. And then you're gonna navigate to this bottom bar of icons and open Lightroom. So just click on the Lightroom icon. So in order to do this, obviously you'll need to have Lightroom installed, the Lightroom mobile app installed on your phone. So just click that Lightroom mobile app and then say launch Lightroom now. And then it will say that the one photo was successfully imported. Now, no matter what you're seeing here, Go to the top left-hand corner and click that arrow and scroll down to recently added and then click recently added and you'll see what you just added in the very top there and it'll say DNG in the top right-hand corner of the little thumbnail. Click on that. Now once you're in this window, go to the top right-hand corner, click the white circle with the three dots and you're gonna push Create Preset in that drop-down menu. Once you've done that, let's just call it, I'm gonna call it Test, and I'm gonna call it Test 2, because I might already have a Test 1 in there. But you're gonna name it whatever you wanna name it. I would just name it whatever it's called on your desktop version, and that way you'll always know what it is. Then in the top right-hand corner, click that little white check. And you now have that preset that was on your desktop Lightroom version in your Lightroom mobile version. And let's go test it. So I'm clicking the little white triangle in the top left-hand corner. And I'm going to go to, click it one more time and go to all my photos. And let's just click one here. Let's go to presets down in that bottom bar, go to presets. I'm gonna scroll down until I see test two because that is what we just created. And there you go. It's that easy, you guys. And one thing I do wanna tell you is it may take some adjusting. So because an iPhone image is a much smaller image, it's a JPEG, versus what you might have been editing on on your desktop, which is probably a raw image, is much larger file, you might have to tweak excuse me, you might have to tweak the preset just a little bit. But once you've done that, you can click those three dots in the top right-hand corner again, 
and just create the preset again. You can even call it the same thing and replace it. And that way the adjustments that need to be made for the smaller files on your phone are saved that way for that preset on your Lightroom mobile app. So I hope that that was easy to understand. I hope you do it. It's amazing to be able to have the same presets on your desktop and your iPhone versions of Lightroom. And as always, if you have any questions, never hesitate to reach out. I'm always here to help. Until next time, happy editing.